I did want to talk about um, the difference between us having a scarcity mentality and having an abundant mentality because I used to suffer from having a scarcity mentality for a long time. Actually, one of my best friends, Odie, if he ever watches this, he called me out on it. I was living in LA at the time I was pursuing acting and I wasn't going to go home for Christmas and he was just flabbergasted. He's like, you're not going home for Christmas. Why? And I was like, well, I can't afford it. And he just couldn't fathom them those words that you can't afford it he's like what do you mean you can't afford to go home and see your family like make it happen um, because he was raised with an abundant mentality so um, he helped change my mindset so thank you Odie uh, and also to the books that I read that are, are about abundance and you know the the, the conscious mind and, and the subconscious mind and basically we're all programmed um, you know, I was raised in a family where, uh, you know, we have we didn't have a whole lot of money. My mom was a single mom um, where I lived with my mom most of the time. And she was out just working whatever job she could to pay the bills. And I was a latchkey kid and I would go home by myself, you know, while she was out working and, you know, and go to school with like secondhand clothes and stuff like that. And so I was just programmed with this lack with not having enough money, you know, to buy new school clothes or stuff like that. And it's always like, there's never enough money. There's never enough money. And even sometimes to this day, I'll talk to my mom about coming home. She goes, oh, well, you don't have to come home, you know, if it's going to cost too much, you know, if you don't have the money. And I'm like, mom, I don't think like that anymore. Um, I'll, I'm going to come home. It's important. And I will make it happen. It's to me, it's, it's, you know, you got to switch your mindset from I can't afford that to how can I afford that? And then once you push yourself to a point, like let's say you want to go somewhere, whether it's going home or maybe it's going on vacation, book that ticket. Um, you know, do whatever you need to do um, to take action. And then once you make that commitment, you're going to see your actions up to that point are going to change. And, you know, you're going to you're going to have more of an abundance mentality because you're like, I'm going no matter what I'm going. And that conviction and that belief is just something that you'll feel you'll feel different about what you're doing. You know, you made a decision. You didn't stay in this like home home mode of where you're like, oh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can do it. You know, you got out of that negative thinking and you got into the positive thinking and so if you're a marketer on here watching this or maybe you're somebody else just think about do you always say that you can't you won't you know all the negative words or do you say I'm going to do it how can I make this happen and you make that switch and I, and what you're gonna see is you're gonna see positive effects start to unfold in your life and I'm continuing to get better. Obviously, we're all human and there's times when, you, you know, something can happen and you're like, oh no, what am I going to do? So I try to switch right away and get back into an abundance mentality when I find myself falling into, you know, any type of negative thought pattern or something like that. I just, that's why I get up in the morning, um, you know, I read positive books, you know, that, that, that can put me on the right path. And then also, you know, watch a lot of videos of people like um, the School of Greatness that I, you know, Howes, Lewis Howes that I just talked about or Bob Proctor or somebody else, um, you know, or people who are having more success than I am and, and listen to what they have to say. And you'll hear a lot of common uh, denominators, a lot of common things said in these things. And, and most of it starts with mindset right away, the positive thought patterns, um, which are going to result into positive actions in taking you where you want to go, no matter where it is, you know, in business and other aspects of your life. So anyway, just want to make a quick video. Uh, I hope everyone's having a fantastic Sunday, enjoying the sunshine, or maybe enjoying the rain, dancing around with your umbrella, wherever you're at. Either way, I hope you're having a really great one, and I look forward to talking to you soon.